Okay, here's a quick, fun little demonstration of the interferometer's sensitivity. This never gets old. We've got it set up here on the plate, and the retro reflector is set up suspended from this engine hoist on that no-go arm, as you can see. And it's measuring the distance between the base and that arm. So the reason it's on here is basically what it's doing is it's acting as a huge lever arm to amplify all the movements that come from the ground um, and make it basically way more sensitive to random noise and vibration uh, and other movements. So just a minute ago, we were actually picking up um, music that they were playing in the stadium which you can see over there, they were playing some music and there was a bunch of high frequency noise in the, uh, the measurements we were getting. But a quick little demo to show how, how sensitive is, it is right now is we'll just look at the trace there. I'll zoom in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squat just a little up and down real rapidly. I'm not jumping, I'm not stomping, I'm just gonna do a quick little squat, and we'll see what happens on the trace here. So I'll just like that. Oh, and there's a spike. We can do it again. And see a little spike there. So what I'm doing is when I'm bending my legs like that, I am bending the floor. This is all one slab. This concrete slab I'm standing on is deflecting under my weight, bending over here, and that sagging is bringing this up and bringing this mirror closer to this mirror, like that. And then the oscillations you see after are the whole structure here, both the table and the engine hoist, just swinging back and forth, recovering from that little impulse. So that just sort of gives you an idea of how insane this is. Just a little squat is bending the concrete floor enough that we can measure it over here. Just, just, just awesome. Never gets old.